The tic-tac-toe method is another way to interpret ABGs. In order to use this method, you will need to know the normals of your pH, PCO2, and bicarb, and you need to memorize how to write out the tic-tac-toe board. Each horizontal line corresponds to one of the three measures. Each vertical line to acidosis, normal, or alkalosis. Then you simply plug in the numbers and see what matches. Of course, if you have the scrub cheats card, then all you gotta do is use a dry eraser and just write directly on it and wipe it right off. We also, inside our NRSNG Academy, have an entire course built around uh, ABGs because this is the one area that a lot of people struggle with as they're first learning how to do this, okay? It's important to note here that PCO2 is reversed. You know, in pH we have it from low to high, uh, HCO3 we have it from low to high, but for PCO2 we have it high, low, because PCO2 is gonna be the opposite. It, the PCO2, high PCO2 is actually acidic. So let's see what it looks like with some examples. If your pH is 7.28, we just kind of write on this left side of our, of our box here, we just kind of put an X right there, just like tic-tac-toe. So we put it to the left of the 7.35, making it acidic. Let's say the PCO2 is 37. So it falls between 35 and 45, so we just put a little X right there, okay? That's all we have to do. And if your bicarb is 18, it falls below 22. So we just put a little line right there. So we can see that the bicarb matches the pH. What's matching here? Boom, those two are matching. And so we know that uh, we have metabolic acidosis with no compensation. So our CO2 is normal. So metabolic acidosis with no compensation. Let's look at another example. Okay. In this example, let's put our pH as seven, uh, whoops, let's erase this too. 7.53. So we move beyond 7.45, 7.53 would be right there in the alkalosis section, okay? PCO2 is 47, so we move to the left of our 45, and bicarb is 34. So here's our bicarb. We move it beyond the 26. To put it beyond 26, it would be a bigger number than that, it's 34. Okay, so what do we have? We're seeing very clearly here that what we have, our pH is alkalotic, our bicarb is what matches, so we have metabolic alkalosis with our respiratory way over here, making it a compensated metabolic acid, uh, partially compensated metabolic alkalosis because our pH has not normalized, so we have a partially compensated metabolic alkalosis, okay? Now, the reason we're saying it's partially compensated is because our pH has not normalized, okay? So we're still in, in an alkalosis state, all right? So if you have numbers that are way out of rack, but a normal pH, then you know your patient has fully compensated. Just look at which side of normal your pH is and determine what the source is by matching to that side. So let's say for example, so 7.4 would be like right here, right? 7.4 would be like, boom, our patient is just like perfect, perfect pH, okay? So let's say our patient here was 7.42. So we've fallen within the normal range, which is great, fallen within the normal range, so our pH has normalized. So what we would have on this, on this patient would be fully compensated, and then our pH is to the alkalosis side, which is the same side as our, our uh, metabolic, our HCO3. So we have fully compensated metabolic alkalosis. Okay? Even if this was back over here, let's say this was back over here at 44, this is still what our problem is. Okay, it would be fully compensated metabolic alkalosis. So with this method, all you really do is take your numbers and start plugging them in. And it doesn't matter what you have, okay? You can go like this and, and just start plugging stuff in here. So we have a low pH, we have acidosis respiratory, so we would have, let's say 7.3 pH, 40 CO2, 23 uh, HCO3. So we'd have respiratory acidosis, just like that. And that's how the uh, tic-tac-toe method works. 
I want you to use these charts. I want you to dive into them. And every time you see a pH just or a, a blood gas, just try to plug every blood gas in because you need to get to where you can look at it and say, boom, I know what's going on. I know either the lungs are trying to compensate or the kidneys are trying to compensate and I can take care of this patient. I know what we're gonna do. We're either gonna uh, work through ventilation or we're gonna work through meds, through some bicarb, and we're gonna try to get this, this patient right.